guys welcome back to my channel um so i wanted to do this video because um i feel like i owed it to you guys for a little explanation of where i've been i think i've missed the last three upload dates that i have and if you hear a little snoring my son is actually in the recliner he uh, had a nightmare and came downstairs so he is in the recliner next to mommy so that he doesn't have a nightmare and I'll put him upstairs once I'm done. But um, I wanted to come on and explain to you guys where I've been and why I haven't done a pantry purge update. Um, I will have a little one in this video. But um, uh, I wasn't intentionally skipping the last couple of upload dates what happened was um without going into too much detail um my husband's young sister unfortunately passed away um she was 24 um it was very unexpected she was hospitalized on monday and gone by thursday so we got the call on uh wednesday morning that she had gone septic from an illness um, we drove uh, we live um, how do I say this without like putting my address out there uh, we live about two hours away from where they are so um, we drove directly down there dropped the kids off at the appropriate places for them to stay drove down there to see her um, she had improved immensely since the time that we got the call to the time we got down there, we stayed overnight on Wednesday, um, and by Thursday, she had took a turn for the worst and had got, had passed. So, um, we've been on there for the last week, week and a half, planning a funeral, um, and taking care of his dad, which, uh, his dad is also in, was in the hospital at that time too, so we were bouncing back and forth from two different hospitals. Um, he is now in a nursing rehab, but we are in the process of taking over um, power of attorney and such for him because he will not be able to take care of himself anymore. And his sister was actually the one who was doing all that. So it's being, um, now we are trying to transfer that paperwork over. So it's just been a really, really, really stressful time for us. Um. It's been a really hard year so far, but we are trying to find blessings in all the things that we've done that we um, have gone through. And we did lose a puppy earlier this year, like in the middle of January. Um, and with all the grief and the stress and stuff going on with life, we did end up deciding to get a new puppy. So now we have two dogs. We have um, Ahsoka. Um, so I guess this will be like a little bit of a get to know me, I guess. We have Ahsoka, which is, we're not really sure what she is. She's like um, a small to medium sized dog. She's like in between there and she's just a mix of everything. And then now we have Bosk and he is a golden doodle, which is my dream dog. So I'm, we're really excited about that. Just trying to find the blessings and all the things that we can in life and trying to bring a little bit of a joy to our life and our kids' life um, in this time of immense grief so there is why I have been gone um, if you guys could keep us in your prayers that'd be appreciated it very appreciative um, we are out of the most stressful part of it but um, as everybody knows grief comes in waves I once heard it described as your life is a box and grief is a ball and sometimes the ball is really big and takes up all of the box and sometimes it's really small and you just bump into it every once in a while throughout the day but um, so right now our ball is fluctuating in size especially since it was a sudden um, illness it was not expected it was not anticipated um, it was very sudden and escalated very quickly so if you could keep mostly my husband and my children in your prayers, that'd be really great. So I would really appreciate that. But, so I just want to let you guys know why I have been gone for a little bit. Um, I have a snack here and a drink here. And I'm just going to do like a little get to know me um, and a little update on the pantry purge. So 
since I, we were gone from our home for a week and a half, I obviously did not cook at home because I was not home. So we still have a lot in our freezer, fridge and a freezer in our pantry. We do, I did, um, we ended up going on a grocery shopping, shopping trip and the only thing that we got was, um, we got eggs and milk. Um, but during the week of planning a funeral, um, my husband did end up going to the ER because he stopped breathing when he was, um, sleeping and we found that he has GERD. So we are trying to adjust our diet. Um, to accommodate his needs for his GERD. So if anybody has an experience with any kind of like acid reflux or GERD and knows some like really delicious um, recipes that your kids would like and that are cheap to make, I would really appreciate that because it's going to be a definite um, learning curve on how to adjust um, not only his diet but all of our diets to accommodate for him because we don't want to have anything that he can't have in front of him because that's just not nice. But... Uh, so I appreciate that. But, so, um, we did get eggs and we got milk, so we got 60 eggs to last us the rest of the month. It'll probably transfer over to the next month. I'll just make them and freeze them. And then we got two gallons of milk because we just needed those things to make it through the month, I guess. Like, you always need milk and eggs. I didn't, I really, I had anticipated buying that and more. So, we're doing really good. Um, so... Instead of extending my pantry purge out longer, what I think I'm going to do is at the end of the month, um, when I usually go grocery shopping, I'm going to go through our pantry, and if anything expires within the next three months, I'm just going to go donate it to the food pantry. So I think that would be a good way for the kids to give back um, and find another blessing in a tragic time. So that's something I'll do. Um, so a little good to know me. Um, as most of you probably don't know, I am um, a stay-at-home mom. Um, my husband has two kids from his previous marriage, but they are my kids. Um, I've always looked at them as my kids, and I will, always will. Um, and then we have one together, and he is four. It was his birthday at the beginning of the month, so that was great. Um, other than that, I think I don't have really any more updates for you. I just wanted to get on here real quick before I started uploading on a regular basis again so you didn't think I just kind of like forgot about you guys. Um, but a new grocery haul will be coming up and like I said we're going to have to adjust the diet a little bit more so I might get less food for the same amount of money but I'm not adjusting my money budget. I'm going to keep it at the 350 I keep it. Um, but next month we are doing the $700 for four months of pantry foods. But I'm going to start doing a series of homemade goods. So I'm going to start making my own yogurt. Um, I tried that for the first time and it worked out well. I think I'm going to adjust it a little bit. I'm going to make my own granola. We're going to try to make our own, all of our own beans. Um, we don't have a garden, um, but I'm going to try to get one. And my mother cans and my mother-in-law cans. So I'm going to try to learn some skills from them and start canning and stuff. But we're really, really looking forward to that. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can and cannot make in like adjusting the recipes to accommodate our family and I hope you guys stick out stuck it out with me this week when it was hard um I promise to keep it more upbeat the rest of the week uh and if you can see behind me I will do a kid's corner coming up showing you guys this is our living room and our kids have half of our living room because it works well with our family so look out for that um but other than that thank you guys so much for being here thank you guys so much for subscribing if you have if you have not i would really appreciate it um and if you keep us in your prayers the next couple of weeks that'd be great as well and as always i hope you enjoyed bye